This short video is about Google Street View, in particular Google Virtual Tours and Google Maps. To launch the Tour Viewer, simply go to google.com backslash maps. From there, find your point of interest and zoom in. Here I'm at East Bases on Harding Road in West Nashville. Look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you'll see some icons. The Google Street View Viewer is launched using the small yellow man, some people call him the peg man. Click on him and that should light up the street view. You can see the straight blue lines, that's where the Google cars take their imagery. And the little blue bubbles are individual 360s. You'll see this office building has several merchants. There's clusters of bubbles representing uh, different uh, street view tours. Fortunately, Google has the ability now to separate these out, at least in terms of multi-layer floors. So this is the front entrance to the Hill Center office building, and I've done a demo to show them how we can clean this up a little bit. So I've got imagery I shot from each level, and we start at the parking garage up to the first floor, second, third, and fourth floor. Now we'll go up to the fourth floor to eSpaces. Uh, they shot a virtual tour several years ago, so the imagery has changed and they want to update it. So I did a short demo here just to show them some of the options from night time photography to early morning sunrise for a little bit more dramatic view. And then this uh, uh, transitions to their previous imagery, uh, which should be reshot. There are a lot of things you can do with this. You can um, integrate this into your, your website uh, directly. I just go to the upper left hand corner, look for the three dots. One of the options is to share or embed. Uh, we've got the uh, share uh, by default. You've also got Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter. This is the embed code, which is uh, an iframe code that simply uh, takes this video imagery and you can paste it into any web page or post. Um, the HTML code goes in simply uh, and it integrates with the rest of the tour and this does not create a load on the web page because this is taking imagery from another source and repeating it so you got also the ability to clean up uh, a space you may have a previous tour from a business that was there before you may have some people that have put up imagery you just don't appreciate it associated with your business as the business owner, you can control that, and this is your way to tell Google, hey, we don't want this in there. If you haven't claimed your Google page, do that now. Uh, it's free and easy. All you have to do is uh, request a postcard sent to your business address, and then you can verify it, and then you can add users, as many users as you want to be able to have access to the console. If you claim the business and log in as an authorized admin, you'll have two things in the imagery there you've got three dots one will allow you to delete an image you'll also get the view count on the upper left hand corner this is a tour I shot a couple of days ago so it's still building out but you can see they're already getting activity in the view count most clients hire me to shoot a virtual tour for their website but I can also use this same imagery for Google Street View tours from comparing the two I found that the Google Street View imagery outperforms the website traffic by at least 10 to 1. Earlier this year, I shot an apartment complex in Durham, North Carolina. A couple of days ago, I decided to take a look at the metrics. Since mid-February, they've had over 140,000 views. That averages over 800 views a day. Now, all those views are spread over a variety of 360s I shot in two days, including two staged models, a variety of amenities, and three restaurants. But it's getting noticed. This is Bob Henderson, a trusted and certified Google Street View photographer from Nashville, Tennessee, signing off from the Athens of the South.